Hello and welcome to Around the Clock. I'm your host, Yolanda Greaves. Well, it's the middle of January, but we can't tell from the weather because Mother Nature can't decide is it going to be winter or spring. We've had a little bit of both so far this year. Here on Around the Clock today, we're going to be talking with Candy Wilson, who is one of the people discussing the ideas of a dog park here for Ashland. You will also have the Selectman's update for the meeting that happened on January 17th. We'll have a short Around the Town tour, stopping at the Warren Conference Center and also at Town Hall. And we have some new sports highlights for you today. We're going to be showing you some footage from the women's gymnastic team, which is a regional team, and the ski team. So stay with us and we'll be back with more Around the Clock. Hello and welcome to the Selectman's update for the meeting that happened on January 17th. Uh, it wasn't a very long meeting, but we did have a number of important things that happened. We signed and approved the note sale for the property that was purchased off of Oregon Road. It's property that was decided on and voted on at the special town meeting in the fall, and we'll be processing the paperwork to purchase and pay for that, that property. We also had an update by Jim Adams on the MSBA process for the Mendez School. The MSBA is the Massachusetts School Building Authority. We will be working with them to do a feasibility study and then possibly bring forward either a new building or renovations to the Mendez School. The whole process, you can see the whole meeting and you can also go to the school's website and get further information about the whole process. Um, they'll probably be bringing a um, an item, an article to special town, the Springtown meeting for the feasibility study. So make sure you stay in touch and find out more information on that. We also had a presentation by the Stormwater Advisory Committee. They gave us an update on where they're at and their recommendations for us to meet the new MS4 permit uh, requirements that are coming forward. So MS4 deals with stormwater. And again, you can see the full presentation from the Stormwater Advisory Group on the actual Selectman meeting. Uh, video that is also available, but they're trying to rec they are recommending that we create an enterprise fund to help pay for stormwater mitigation, uh, so that if there's issues with stormwater in regards to cleaning it and things like that, that we have a fund, an enterprise fund available, and the amount that you would be charged would be based on the size of your property and the amount of impervious. Uh, material that you have. So if you have a smaller driveway, it might be a little bit less. If you have a larger driveway, it might be a little bit more. If you uh, own an apartment complex or a retail space that has parking. Uh, but those things will still be worked out. So be on the lookout for more information on that. We then had a public hearing for taking the property over at Elliott Street, known as Cadillac Paint. Again, this is follow-up to work that was done at the fall special town meeting in November. The town approved us to take the property by eminent domain. DEP has released their holds on it, uh, so we are taking the property. We also have RSP, RFPs out for the work to take the buildings down and then do the remediation of getting out the soil that's contaminated. And then there'll be uh, information and sessions where we'll be looking for input from the public on what they would like to see over at Cadillac Paint. A lot of conversation has been talked about uh, creating some kind of park, whether it's a regular park or a dog park, we're not sure, uh, but we will certainly be looking for the input of the whole community and the people surrounding that property. From there, we actually went to an appointment we were able to present and appoint a new lieutenant for the fire department uh, with the chief getting with chief booth be leaving in december and we did an internal hire to do a new chief so that left the captain's position open we then appointed uh, lieutenant moynihan as our new captain then there became a lieutenant's position open so last night we filled that and we appointed or um, michael herbert our town manager Appointed, appointed Mark Caffarelli, who was in the fire department, and he will now be one of our lieutenants leading one of the work groups, uh, group three. He has been uh, an Ashton firefighter since 1998, so congratulations to Mark and everyone who is changing and finding new roles in the Ashland Fire Department. We then uh, took a vote on our charter review process. So the charter review, they came before us back in the summer and presented their report. We then had a working group meeting with some of the charter review members. We took some discussions. We voted some of the recommendations that we have. We'll be having some public forums, and that will be coming forward to Springtown meeting as well, uh, changes to the charter moving forward. 
We had a vote and discussion on recreational marijuana. That will also be something coming to the voters on whether or not Ashland would like to opt out of recreational marijuana being able to be sold and cultivated here in Ashland. So be on the lookout for that. We uh, authorized our chair to sign the Oregon Road closing documents. That'll be happening on January 31st. And we then had a number of items from our town manager. We got an update on the fiscal 19 budget process. There'll be a big uh, FinCom meeting on January 30th at Town Hall if you'd like to go and uh, hear the presentations from some of the major departments. We also talked about a senior benefit fair. We had an update on Cadillac Paint. We talked about the Howe Street landfill and the mitigation that's happening there. The, the passive venting system is complete. The berm is in place and they'll be doing plantings on the berm on the Howe Street landfill sometime in the spring when it's feasible to be doing new vegetation. We then talked about an Eversource public meeting regarding the upgrade of a gas pipeline that is going through Hopkinton and into Ashland and that meeting will be February 5th in Town Hall in the basement. We also, through the work of our fire department, were able to announce and recognize the Adopt a Hydrant winners for the January timeframe. We've had two snowstorms so far uh, and we're only into the middle of January. But for this month, we've already picked our winners and they are Mr. and Mrs. Lindsay of East Union Street, Vijay Subramanian of Adams Road, Parker Gelfond of Captain Ames, and Matthew and Nate Levine of Kings Row. Thank you for cleaning out your fire hydrants and we recommend everybody clean out their fire hydrant. And if you do it again and you submit your picture to the fire department via their Facebook page or their email, maybe you too can be a winner of the Adopt a Hydrant program. And that wrapped it up for the Selectman's meeting for January 17th. <laughs>
Um, and oftentimes folks don't have a whole lot of time. They just want to go, you know, somewhere in their own town. Right. Because um, again, I could go to another town, but then it's, you know, transporting the dogs right. and taking them out, bringing them to the park. It's time consuming. So you want to be able to go to a short location, you know, short uh, trip to the dog park here mm -hmm. in Ashland, and then you could have more time with your dog. So what are some of the rules? What are some of the things that are being discussed about the dog park in Ashland? So the biggest rule that we have is we um, want responsible visitors. Um, we want to have um, people who are responsible with their dogs. Yes, and responsible licensed with the dog, dogs. licensed dogs. Okay. We also want, um, you know, we don't want more than three dogs per person. So okay. it's not really a great place for a dog walker to bring their dogs. Um, they have to be Ashland residents. Mm -hmm. They also, we are hoping that they will pick up after themselves, um, as, <laughs> as anyone would. You well, know, and, and as is required, wherever you go with your Absolutely. dog, it's required to pick up after your dog. Absolutely. Right. And um, some of the other things that we are hoping for is that, you know, everyone's looking out for each other when they're there. Mm -hmm. So we don't want to have aggressive dogs. Um, and we don't want aggressive folks as well. Right. So um, really everybody kind of following the rules and helping each other out in the dog park to enforce those rules. And what are some locations that you're looking for to put the t potential dog park here in town? So we're looking at the Cadillac Paint Company mm -hmm. um, that is underway to be cleaned up. And we've looked at the Girl Scout camp, uh, the Gibson property, and also a piece of property behind the animal control. Right. Um, which would be next to where the river walk right. is potentially right. slated for. Right, so Cadillac Paint is the new piece of property that actually last night at the Selectman meeting, we just signed and we'll be purchasing that and the cleanup for that will be happening this spring. Yes. And then we'll be looking for people to give us feedback on what they would like to see there. Yes. The Girl Scout property is off of Olive Street, as is the Sibson property off of Olive Street, all pieces of property that the town currently owns. Yes. Uh, and then the piece in back of the DPW over by the Ashland Animal Control, which would make very good sense. Absolutely. Great. Great. Absolutely. Uh, so tell us a little bit more about the forum that's happening on Monday, February 5th. So the forum, we're looking for everyone here in Ashland to come on out. We're going to present some information um, around what we've researched thus far. Um, we'll be handing out um, some of the rules that we've kind of put together. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll be looking for feedback on some of the rules, some of the, the things we've presented. There'll be um, also, we'll have um, one of the members on our committee, well, somebody who we've been going to, which is the veterinarian, mm -hmm. Dr. Schwartz, through yep. Ashland Animal. He'll be speaking about the health and safety piece of it. Um, Donna Walsh, who is our animal control officer, mm -hmm. she's also been an advisory as well. And she will be speaking to um, how this will benefit um, everybody in the community, right. really. A, a safe place to bring it's your dog. It's a safe dog. place, yeah. absolutely. And it's not really to take away um, it's not going to solve the problems that we have at the Ashland right. State Park and Town Forest, but it's also, it's an additional alternative for mm -hmm. people to go and visit. Well, and, and if you can say to people, look, you're not supposed to have your dog off leash at the Town Forest, and you'd like to do that here in town, if we can give them an alternative absolutely, as well. And I just need to uh, let people know that I'm also, I've been involved in the committee. Um, it's something that I know here in Ashland, I've always encouraged that we create a dog park when we've talked about some of the irrigation and some of the drainage issues and some of the erosion that's been going on at Warren Wood, at um, the Warren Conference Center and the State Park, yes. certainly coming off of Chestnut Street yes. because of the amount of people using it. I, you know, we if, if we have a dog park that's a safe place, we can then encourage people to go there. So I think it's, it certainly would be a benefit. And I think it's important pe for people to understand you have been doing a lot of research. We're not looking for this to be another thing that gets added to the tax bill. We've Absolutely. Re been researching grants to say, okay, how can we do this? And if people who are interested want to come and help fundraise and make this happen. Yes. I think, as I said, similar to the farmer's market, there's been no town money to create the town, the, the farmer's market. Right. Um, Ashland Day, it's always donations and people supporting it. So I think Absolutely. this is a similar kind of thing where we want people to come and be involved and, and give us their feedback and input Absolutely. and be part of the process. Absolutely be part of the process. Good. And we'll be, we also will be presenting at the forum mm -hmm. on February 5th some of the information that we've researched on some grants that are available for us to apply. Right. 
and what it is that we need to do on our end mm -hmm. um, to be able to apply for these grants. Because there are some pieces that we as a town and community need to actually uphold to be able to get that grant. Right. <laughs> so right. we'll be presenting that as well. Good. And uh, what brought you to Ashland? Let's talk a little bit about you. So I came to Ashland when my family was living close by. Um, they've all since moved away, but that's okay. Um, I moved to Ashland. My best friend was living here in town. She's originally from Ashland, and then she left. <laughs> but I've made new friends, and um, I have two boys in the school system um, in sixth and eighth grade, and it's a wonderful community. I came from a small, small town. I came from Millis, and this is pretty similar to the town that I grew up in, and I love that feel. I like the, the woodsy kind of suburbial type small town feel. Um, Good. Ashland is a great, great it is. community. It's a great mm -hmm. community. Everybody has, everybody looks out for each other. Yeah. It's a wonderful, kind community. And Good. I enjoy it. Great. It's very similar to how I was raised. Nice. Yes. Good. Well, Candy, thanks for coming on. Thank you. Before I let you go, and I didn't, I didn't tell you about <laughs> this one, but it's not too hard. Uh, I like to ask first time guests this question. Is there something about you, Candy Wilson? that not too many people may know that you'd be willing to share with my viewers? Hmm. <laughs> I stumped sure you. I've you never did. had anybody oh not say anything. <laughs> <laughs> Background, something that you love that people don't know. So, I don't know, honestly. Where were you born? I was born in Marlboro. I don't even know if the hospital still exists. <laughs> <laughs> I guess the only thing I can think of is I wanted to be a rocket oh. when I was a young girl. Yeah, that didn't happen. <laughs> no, it didn't happen. I don't believe I have the height to be a rocket. I think it's 5'7". You know what? That's a dream that I had, and I also couldn't do it because of my height. So. <laughs> so that would possibly be something yeah. that somebody may not, not know, know about me. <laughs> Well, Candy, thank you so for, thank so much you. for coming on Around the Clock, thank uh, you for and we look me. forward to seeing you at the February fifth forum regarding the dog park at the Ashland Town Hall, and we'll be back with more Around the Clock. Great, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs>
you have a department full of strong men and women who can take over leadership roles at the drop of a hat or when they, are, when they present themselves. Um, I don't know of too many departments, fire departments or other departments throughout the Commonwealth of Massachusetts that have the type of depth that we do here in the Ashland Fire Department. And I, I really hope you understand that and take that to heart and really take a lot of pride in that. We had uh, a number of, of solid people present themselves to be uh, candidates for these promotions. Um, any one of them would be, uh, I would have been proud to promote, uh, and I'm especially proud to promote the people that we're promoting today. Um, so again, from the bottom of my heart, um, I know that can sound a little cheesy, it really does mean a lot, and I hope you take some pride in it. Um, first, I would like to um, introduce to you all Captain Lynn Morehan. So, Lynn has been on the Ashland Fire Department for, uh, well, since 1994, right, Lynn? Um, has held a number of different roles, has, has promoted herself, or been promoted through the ranks from uh, firefighter to, uh, to lieutenant and then now, now to captain. Uh, certainly a, a star, a superstar in our department, uh, a role model, uh, not just for female firefighters, but firefighters in general. Um, she's held a number of different training roles, or a number of different leadership roles, a number of different uh, uh, qualifications. Um, she's an instructor at the Massachusetts Fire Academy, has been for quite a while, and uh, she's certainly been um, a, a true leader in the department. And, you know, leadership comes in a lot of different forms, you know, formal, you know, formally with titles and things like that, but then also just in your attitude and the way you carry yourself. And, it's been a real pleasure to watch uh, Lynn as she has uh, you know, gone through her career here for the time that I've been here. Um, at this point in time, Chief Roby, would you like to uh, say a few words and then um, present the pins to, I believe it's uh, your brother, Mark? Marcus, yeah. So, yeah. First of all, congratulations, Lynn. I mean, I look forward to working with you. We've worked together for a long time. I think you'll be a great asset to the staff. I look forward to it. So. So, if you could please uh, raise your right hand. So, hi. Hi. State your name. Evelyn Morahan. So solemnly swear. So solemnly swear. That I will faithfully. That I will faithfully. And impartially. And impartially. Discharge and perform. Discharge and I'll perform. All of the duties. All of the duties. Incumbent upon me as fire captain. Incumbent upon me as being fire captain. For the town of Ashland, Massachusetts. For the town of Ashland, Massachusetts. And I will obey. And I will obey. And be bound. And be bound. By such rules and regulations. By such rules and regulations. As are now or may be. As are now or may be. From time to time. From time to time. Established. Established. For the government of the department. For the government of the department. I state your name. I, Evelyn Morahan. So solemnly swear. So solemnly swear. That I will never betray my badge. That I will never betray my badge. My integrity. My integrity. My character. My character. Or the public trust. Or the public trust. I will always have the courage. I will always have the courage. To hold myself. To hold myself. And others accountable. And others accountable. For our actions. For our actions. I will uphold the Constitution. I will uphold the Constitution. Of my community. Of my community. And the Ashland Fire Department. And the Ashland Fire Department. I state your name. I, Evelyn Morahan. Hereby accept the position of fire captain. Accept the position of fire captain. In the town of Ashland, Massachusetts. In the town of Ashland, Massachusetts. Congratulations, Captain. Thank you. Uh, Lieutenant Caffarelli has been a member of the fire department. Uh, he started on the call department, I believe, in 1995, right? And right. became a full time firefighter here in 1998. Um, again, Lieutenant Caffarelli has held a number of leadership roles um, within the Ashland Fire Department, um, and he's currently, I believe, a, a, an instructor at the Mass Fire Academy as well. Um, certainly well-respected and well-liked throughout the department, and uh, again, we're really looking forward to, uh, to working with you in your new position. So, Chief Roby, if you'd like to say a few words. Yeah, Mark, congratulations. I look forward to uh, definitely a transition to go from firefighter lieutenant. It's one that takes a while to learn the differences, but 
I look forward to working with you two there. I think you do a great job. Okay, Lieutenant Caffarelli, if you would like to come up and I'll administer the oath of office to you as well. Just one more step. This is it. So, I state your name. Oh, raise your right hand, I'm sorry. I state your name. I, Mark Caffarelli. So solemnly swear. So solemnly swear. That I will faithfully and impartially. That I will faithfully and impartially. Discharge and perform. Discharge and perform. All of the duties. All of the duties. Incumbent upon me. Incumbent upon me. As fire lieutenant. As fire lieutenant. For the town of Ashland, Massachusetts. For the town of Ashland, Massachusetts. And I will obey. Yet I will obey. And be bound. And be bound. By such rules and regulations. By such rules and regulations. As are now. As are now. Or may be. Or may be. From time to time. From time to time. Established for the government. Established for the government. Of the department. Of the department. I state your name. I, Mark Caffarelli. So solemnly swear. So solemnly swear. That I will never. That I will never. Betray my badge. Betray my badge. My integrity. My integrity. My character, my character, or the public trust, or the public trust. I will always have the courage. I will always have the courage to hold myself, to hold myself, and others accountable for our actions. And others accountable for my actions. I will uphold. I will uphold the constitution of my community. The constitution of my community and the Ashland Fire Department. And the Ashland Fire Department. I state your name. I, Mark Caprell. Hereby accept the position. Hereby accept the position of fire lieutenant. Of fire lieutenant. In the town of Ashland, Massachusetts. In the town of Ashland, Massachusetts. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. And believe it or not, that wraps up our Around the Town tour for this episode of Around the Clock. Here on Around the Clock, when we get the opportunity, we like to share with you some of the sports highlights from some of the shows and some of the games that we get to get footage of. Our crew is always out, whether it's sharing a basketball game with you or a wrestling match or some swimming and diving. We have two new sports that we're going to share with you today. The first is the Ashland High Gymnastics. The women, it's a women's team, and they are part of original, a regional team. They work with Medfield and with Dover Sherburn, and Medfield is the host school. They had some of their first meets and things are looking good, and we want to thank the alumni that have come back to help the announcers to help share some of this new footage, and we hope to be able to share more of the women's gymnastics with you in future shows. Another newer sport that we get to share with you is the Ashland High School Ski Team. This is also a, a regional, uh, regional team. They do their skiing out of Ward Hill in Shrewsbury, and we, were get, we got to get, get some great footage. Uh, and that's how you know it's winter, when we're showing you skiing, and there is a fair amount of snow on the ground. We'd like to congratulate our boys, they finished with a total score of 477, and the girls team finished with a total score of 400. So congratulations to them, and we hope to be able to share more of the ski team's footage with you as we go on through the winter season. Next up on our sports update is Ashland Wrestling.
The wrestling team uh, had a meet against Northbridge at Ashland High School. They did very well. It was a score of Ashland 48 and Northbridge 12 at the end of the night. So congratulations to our wrestling team and we hope they continue on that winning streak. Well, thanks for watching this episode of Around the Clock. A big shout out and thank you to Candy Wilson for coming on the show and talking to us about the dog park. And hopefully you'll be joining her and the other group, uh, other members of the group at the forum on February 5th. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed our Around the Town and our new sports highlights. We look forward to bringing more of them to you. So that's it for this episode of Around the Clock.